I got into a discussion with a fundamentalist Baptist once, and I told them that the reason I'm Catholic is because Jesus himself started the Catholic Church. If Jesus started the Baptist, I'd be Baptist. If he started the Mormons or Jehovah's Witnesses, I would be one of them. But the reason I'm Catholic is because Jesus started the Catholic Church, and that's the church I want to be part of. And the Baptist minister said, uh, my friend, he's like, I hate to break it to you, but Jesus didn't start the Catholic Church. He started the Baptist Church. And so we got into a di discussion about this, and I'm going to tell you in this video what I told him and why Jesus did start the Catholic Church. But real quick, if you haven't been here, my name is Brian Mercier. I make videos on the truth of Catholicism, God, life, and living. And if at any time you want to check out the links I put below, feel free to do so. And thanks for watching. Let's get to that conversation. So the pastor told me that, hey, Jesus didn't start the Catholic Church. And, you know, he started the Baptist Church. I was like, really? That's funny because the Baptists were started by John Smith in Amsterdam in the 1600s. And he said, oh, no, no, those are modern day Baptists. He's like, I'm a fundamentalist Baptist. We go back to John the Baptist. And I said, <laughs> I said, in my head, I'm thinking, that's ridiculous. I said, how can you go back to John the Baptist? Did John the Baptist start a church? I was like, that makes no sense. But I didn't say that. And I said, so you believe that Jesus started the Catholic Church, but yet you go back to John the Baptist. And he said, yes, that's correct. I said, all right, that doesn't make much sense, but I believe that Jesus started the Catholic Church. In reality, historically, if you look at history, Jesus actually started the Catholic Church. And he's like, no, my friend, historically, Jesus started the Baptist Church. And I said, no, that's ridiculous. Nobody believes that. I was like, it's obvious that Jesus started the Catholic Church. And he said, no, Jesus started the Baptist Church. So instead of saying, yeah, yeah, nah, 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 going back and forth like that, I said, okay, let's just assume that Jesus started the Baptist Church. I said, said, can you prove that to me? Could you name for me five Baptists in the first century of the church? Can you give me their names? I mean, if Jesus started the Baptist church, there should have been Baptists everywhere. So give me some of their names, please. And all of a sudden, he just became really quiet for a second. He said, um, I, I can't think of any. And I said, well, how about in the first two centuries? And he said, um, I, I, I can't think of any. I said, how about the Third, first three centuries. Can you give me, you know, a single Baptist within the first three centuries? And he's like, um, no, actually. He's like, that's a really good question. And I said, okay, can you, I was like, can you give me, can you even think of a single person? I asked him, can you even think of a single person in the first three centuries of the church? And he said, um, Polycarp. I was like, great, good job. I was like, did you know Polycarp was a Catholic bishop and he was the bishop of Smyrna between the years of, and the guy's like, I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> and I was like, I just, I'm just getting going. I was like, I could name 30 people who are Catholic, Catholic leaders, Catholic apologists in the first three centuries, two centuries. I mean, there were a lot of Catholics. And so I started naming St. Ignatius of Antioch and St. Justin Martyr and St. Irenaeus, St. Polycarp, St. Augustine, St. Basil. And I started going down the line. He's like, I don't want to talk about this anymore. And I said, okay, but you have no proof that Jesus started the Catholic Church. Whereas the, if you look at history, there's tons of proof that Jesus started the Catholic Church. And I'm going to be making a whole video on this with a lot more information. But the long and short of it is, you can look up in an Indian encyclopedia under the word P for papacy or pope, and you will find a list of 200 and 64 popes going all the way back to St. Peter, all the way back to the beginning in the first century. They give their years, they give the days, they give everything. You can also go back and look at the catacombs. The catacombs, and actually, funny enough, I read a fundamentals Baptist tract called Trail of Blood about how the Catholic Church supposedly killed all the Baptists and Christians down through the centuries and came to power. And they all claim to be the persecuted Christians during the first few centuries, except that Here's the deal. We have the writings of the first few centuries and all the Christians who wrote then. And guess what? They all claim to be Catholic. Look it up. Read their writings. They're all Catholic. I'll put a lot of the links for these Catholic uh, people below, and I'll put some of the quotes that they said about being Catholic and that sort of thing. I'll put many more in my future video, but the bottom line is if you look at the catacombs, there were popes buried down there. There were bishops buried down there. There were priests buried down there. They have altars for the mass. They actually had pictures of the Eucharist and Mary on the wall. They had intercessory prayers to the saints. So if you look at the underground 
burial chambers in the first centuries of Christianity, they were Catholic. There was no Baptists. There was no one until Martin Luther broke away in 1517 with no authority to do so, made his own religion. And then from there, John Calvin disagreed with him and Zwingli disagreed with him and they all disagreed with each other and they all made their own religions. And now we have thousands of Protestant different religions today, all claiming to go by the Bible, all claiming to be correct. But the bottom line is that while all, there's all these little saplings in the forest that are kicking and screaming and yelling and spitting at the Catholic Church, the Catholic Church is like a huge towering redwood. California redwood just towers above the forest because it's been there for 2,000 years. Why am I Catholic? For no other reason than Jesus started the Catholic Church. Jesus is the divine Son of God, the greatest authority ever known on the face of the earth. And if he started a church, that's the church I want to be part of. Thank you guys for watching, and again, check out the links below, and if you want to like the video, please like it. If you want to subscribe and you haven't already, please do that, and if you have any comments on this, if you agree, disagree, feel free to keep the conversation going and put the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys, and I always like to thank you for watching. God bless.